Hi guys, today I want to talk about something very interesting and also kind of strange. It's called the Power Tower Paradox. Uh, it's kind of deceiving and hard to believe. It's like asking you which circle is bigger. And I'm going to tell you this circle is bigger than this one, which is very deceiving, right? So let's look at uh, a power tower here. 2 to the 2 to the 10. So consider two ways to make it bigger. So first way is to increase the bottommost number, which is the bottom two here. Well, we define that as h, where h is something really, really big. For example, maybe a million. And the second way to make this tower bigger is to make the power tower higher. For example, adding a bottom level, such as S to the 2 to the 2 to the 10, where S is something really, really, really small. For example, 1.001. So now determine which one is the biggest. Is it the original tower, 2 to the 2 to the 10? or a million to the 2 to the 10, or 1.001 to the 2 to the 2 to the 10. So which one do you think is the biggest? And which, one's, which one is the smallest? So we're, obviously we can easily tell that this number is much bigger than this one. But what about this? It's not so easy to tell, right? So this one has three levels, this one also has three, but this one has four levels, including the base. But the base is very, very tiny. If this number, 1.001 is, for most people, it's, it's almost the same as one. It's very close to the number one, right? But one to any power is just one. So... Before we discuss further, I think I think I believe mo most people would say this one is the smallest, right? But let's see if that's the case. So using a online, a uh, very powerful calculator online, which is called the Hypercal, we can calculate that two to the two to the ten is around ten to the power of three hundred and eight. And for this number here, is around 10 to the 6,144. So we can see this, this number is much bigger than this one. Actually, we don't even need a calculator. So this, ex this result is expected. But, about, but what about this? So before we do any calculation, I believe most people would say this, is, this number is very small because the base is very close to 1 and 1 to any power is just one right but if you think so you're wrong using the hypercal we get the results of 10 to the 10 to the 305 so i'm not lying here you can check it yourself so this number 10 to the 10 to the 303 305 is much bigger than 10 to the 6144 so this this is 10 to the 6000 this is 10 to the 10 to the 305 so this 10 to the 305 means a number with 306 digits this this number only only has three digits so very weird right very weird properties with uh, power tower and how extreme is this? So let's look at a more, way more extreme case. Let's say we don't, we are not using a million here. Let's say we are using a Google here at the, for the base. So ten to the one hundred is Google, right? So that means we change the base two here to Google instead of million. So we're gonna get a much bigger number, right? 
yeah, that's true. We're gonna get a number, uh, which is around ten to the power of ten. Um, ten thousand. I mean, a hundred and two thousand and four hundred, which is a um, six-figure number. So ten to the to a six-figure number. And then for this one, we're not gonna use one point zero zero one. We're gonna use a number. This one, one point zero 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 zero. The ten zeros here. And one so this number is even much closer to the number one and then this very very small number to the power of two to the two to the ten so here we we, 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 we change this bottom number to an even smaller number and what's the result well the result is 10 to the 10 to the 297 so it's still a very big number and what do we have here? So we can clearly see that even something this extreme, so this tiny number to this power is still much bigger than the Google to the 2 to the 10. So that means even we use a very big number at the bottom, but if, if the Tower is only three high. It's still gonna be much smaller than uh, a power tower that is four levels high, assuming the top two level is the same. So even we use a very small number here and very big number here, and this is still much bigger than this one. And let's look at another example. So let's look at this number. One point one is a pretty small number, right? So 1.1 1 .1 to the 1.1 1 .1 to the 1.1 1 .1 to the 1,000. So there are four levels, one, two, three, four, including the base, is around 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 40. What about this? So this is 1,000 to the power of 1,000 to the power of 1,000. So if they're looking at the answer, which one do you think is bigger? I think most people would believe the bottom one. 1,000 to the 1,000 to the 1,000 is bigger than the top one. Right, because you know those are very small number. The only difference is that this one has four levels. This one has three levels. But look at the results. This is around ten to the ten to the three thousand, which is much smaller than this one. This is much bigger than this. Well, the the the, the two bottom level is the same, but the top level, this one is ten to the forty. This is only three thousand. So let's look at the an even more extreme case. So this one is 1.1 1 .1 to the 1.1 to the 1.1. 1 .1. There, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 7. 1.1 1 .1 and the top is 1,000. So there are 8 levels. And this one. 1,000 to the 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 1,000. So there's 7. 1,000 here. Versus there's 7, 1.1. 1 .1, but there's 1,000 on top, on top. So which one is bigger? The results it will really surprise you so this one is way 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 bigger than this one very interesting right and very sock very shocking because um like most people would, would say this is definitely much bigger because every single level is a thousand this is all 1.1 1 .1. the only difference is that there's an extra thousand here but you get a much bigger result in here than here. So there, there, there's like, um, so this is this number has one more level than this one. So the top is 10 to the 40. This is just 3,000. So 10 to the 40 is much bigger than 1,000. And let's look at one more thing. Um, so if you use this hypercal to if you input this number into the hypercal, it will give you this result. So it's saying that 27 to the 10 to the 10 to the 100 is around the same as 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 100. So you may say, well, it doesn't look quite right because the bottom of this number is clearly bigger than 10. So this number is much should be much, much bigger than this, right? Well, you're correct. But... This is not 
wrong actually it's it's pretty accurate actually this number is actually you can write it this way why because if you do the calculation 27 to the 10 to the 10 to the 100 is equal to 10 to the 10 to something times 10 to the 100 so basically this number here is 1.000 Zero zero zero, da, 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 zero zero zero, and there are ninety four zeros. We're missing ninety four zeros here, so basically, is actually very accurate to say this number is equal to ten to the ten, to the ten to the one hundred, which is this one. So this is a very interesting properties for, especially for. A power tower that is pretty tall. So the taller the tower, the more crazy this um, property is. So this is somehow like a paradox and a, a, an apparent paradox, but actually it's not really a paradox. It's true, but uh, apparently it looks like a paradox. So before I'm gonna end this video, I'm gonna talk about one more thing which is remember in the previous videos we talk about the up arrow notation so I'm gonna ask you something so a to arrow b it means a to the power b right so right now I'm, I'm gonna ask you to make a arrow b bigger so there are three options for you which option will give you the biggest number so the first option is increase the size of a so A actually kind of equivalent to the size of each level, right? And the second way is increase the size of B. And B kind of stands for the number of levels in the tower. Or the third way, increase the number of arrows, which is which stands for the hyper operators. So which one are you, are you going to pick is the fastest? Is which, which one is the... Uh, which one will give you the biggest number and which way will give you the smallest number? By increasing A or increasing B or increasing the number of arrows. So let's see. So for example, 3 arrow 3, which is 3 to the power 3, which is 27. And now what if we increase A? So let's say we change 3 to 4. So 4 arrow 3 means 4 to the power 3, which is 64. So yeah, this is of course bigger than this. But what about, what about if we change B? So if we change B, we change 3 to 4. So 3 arrow 4, which is 3 to the power of 4, and we got 81. So changing B will give you a bigger number than changing A. Well, assuming uh, you change the 3 to 4 in both cases. And lastly, what if we change, I mean, we, we add one more arrow. So 3 arrow arrow 3. We are just adding one more arrow here, which is 3 to the power 3 to the power 3, which is 3 to the power 27, which is around 7.6 trillion. So we can see by adding one more arrow, we we'll give you the biggest result. Not just the bigger, bigger result, it's much bigger result. This is, yeah, small increase, small increase, but this is big increase. Let's look at one more example. What about the original number is 3, double arrow 3. So this number is this one, so 7.6 trillion. What if we change B? Um, so if we change B, so 3 double L4, which is 3 to the 3 to the 3 to the 3, will give you a result of around 10 to the 10 to the 12. If we change A, which is 4 to L3, will give you 4 to the 4 to the 4, which is 10 to the 154. So we can see changing B will give you a bigger results than changing A. And lastly, what if we add one more arrow? So what adding one more arrow will become three, three arrow three, which is three double arrow three double arrow three, which is three double arrow seven point six trillion, which is the sun tower. If you watch the previous video, which is three to the three with seven point six trillion threes high. So clearly adding one more arrow will give you the biggest number. Way, way bigger number. So in conclusion, to make not just one arrow, any number of arrows. So to make A, some arrow B bigger, the best way 
or to make it the biggest will be increase the number of arrows. The second biggest will be increase the ending number, for example, B. I mean, in this case, it will be B. And the third way, or the slowest way, or the, or the way that it will give you the smallest number will be increasing the beginning number. In this case, it will be A. So here, if you want to add, I mean, if you want to make this number bigger, the most efficient way would be adding the number of arrows instead of changing B or changing A. So that's it about this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.